Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. Where are we? We're in the post office. Yeah, we're in the post office again because... What did we do last? Oh yeah, we got a key to a, a, a safety deposit box in the post office. Ah, yes, that's right. But we also now have enough of these charms that we can just see how to open this puzzle box. I can't stand it anymore. Everything's just total shit. I can't go to school. My job sucks. Everyone is against me. Kelsey, don't say that. I'm here. I still love you. I'd do anything for you. You know that, right? Who's that guy? It doesn't get my scholarship back from Little Miss Perfect. That is Joey, the, <laughs> the post office guy. Ah. Oh. Kelsey, please, don't. I've made up my mind, Joey, and he is not getting away with what he's done. There's another memory here. Oh, great. Yeah, so now we need to get something else to add to these charms to unlock the rest of the memory. Is it another charm? I can't remember. I am I think no. I think we'll it's we'll probably else. find out. <laughs> Let's be honest. We'll figure it out eventually. Are you trying a different combination of rubbing things together and hoping for the best? Yeah, just in case I already had the thing I needed. But I didn't. So, hmm. this is the um, post office box. Number 303. Got it. It doesn't say on the key? No, I've apparently it. not. I've never actually had a post office box. But also, it doesn't look like there's that many. Here it is. You could probably just try them all. Why? Why have we got this? Oh, awesome, a screwdriver. Just what I've always wanted. A screwdriver? What's that doing here? <laughs> because you can never actually just go to the shops and buy things you need in this game. Like, yeah. you can't get a tape recorder. I admit, if I had a post office box, not, I, I would store stuff in it. The post office would get really annoyed at me. Someone sent this to Kelsey. <laughs> Whoa! Slow down there, space cowboy! It's a typed letter. No signature. Genius. Your threats are worthless, Kelsey. No one will believe a drop out over me. And if you keep this up, I can make your life hell. You'll never get into another college, and you may never even find a decent job. Put an end to this before it's too late. Uh, you wrote that down and sent that to someone? You take it to the police. Or I newspaper in your place. That's the Dean who she was blackmailing and now he's like threatening her back. Yeah. It's like before digital TV and you know it's just slightly out of tune. <laughs> Why though? Oh there we are. What happened to his finger? Yeah, I'm gonna say. What? Oh, his whole hand. <laughs> the just... wrote this? So that's Maybe that's why she was dating him. Like, I don't get this either, because we already confronted the Dean and found out he was lying. Yeah. <laughs> yes, things that could have been solved by good detective work. <laughs> but now we can open that puzzle box, so there's that. Want to? It's empty apparently. Well, it was empty in the vision, but that doesn't mean it's empty now. This belonged to Kelsey. There was some trick to opening it. Opening it. Got it. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't have to actually solve the puzzle to open that box. <laughs> that would have been quite irritating. <laughs> Holy shit, this girl is fucked up. Oh look, it was another I can't charm do we this. needed. I, can't, I, can't. I need to talk to someone. Yep, put your fingers all over the evidence. Erica, how are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Why stop doing that now? 
I heard about what's happening. Dad, I, I'm, I'm not good. Some psycho is hurting Sully. She took his eye out and I just found it. Slow down, Erica. Breathe. You can do this. You're strong. You're tough as nails, honey. Just breathe. Oh, please, just honey isn't made out of pipes. talk to me, Dad. Of course. Uh, hey, remember your high school soccer team? You were a hell of a goalie. Even took one right to the face and kept going. <laughs> that hurt like hell. I get what they're going for here, broke. but this scene like just does not work. Be forced, do you feel? Brickhouse. Yeah. I haven't been called that in a while. I'm sorry, Dad. I know Davies was a friend. She was a good woman. But Erica, you can handle this. You're gonna find this piece of crap who's hurting Sully and bring her to justice. I know I can trust Brickhouse to never let anything stop her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll feel better once I catch her. Or unload a few rounds in her. Your job is justice, not revenge. I'm kind of hoping don't that people just start calling Erica Brickhouse from <laughs> now on. I don't want to lose you two. She I does basically you. have the personality of a Brickhouse. I better go now, Dad. And the investigative skills. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why is it all the way over there behind her? Okay. And where's the eye? Okay. Well, it's over there because she threw it when she opened it and saw the eye, but yeah, oh, I don't know where the eye is. I don't is. need to see that again. I'll call Terrence when I'm done and get CSI over here to take care of it. Um, maybe you should get CSI over now because they can actually do... <laughs> no, she first needs to finish, you know, messing up the crime scene. This, this is the um, voice actor who plays. Uh, She's pretty good. Erica. No, actually, in Someone this case, it's not. Oh, okay. Spray. This is supposed to be the killer. Yeah, I know it's meant to be. Do we know that she is actually the killer? Well, she's the prime suspect, and uh, we know that she was like being blackmailed. She was blackmailing the dean and being blackmailed by him, and she hated all the victims. So, you know. Why is she recording it on a tape thing? <laughs> yeah, I wondered that as well because she has a phone that she has previously used to play music on, but that's why we're still carrying around that stolen tape recorder is so that we can do that. Got the disc that plays the music. Yeah, but we don't have a portable CD player. Hello, Agent Reed. But everyone's got a computer. All computers play CDs. <laughs> this is not the dark ages anymore. And we don't have any Want idea what we what might need that recording for, so we've got no reason to, to do that. But I, I have no idea what this is. Yeah, you know, obviously we had to because we got the tape recorder. You're certain you don't know anything about this? Uh, no, Agent Reed. I've never seen it before. Why does he bother lying to her? We've already caught him. You are connected, and now you look guilty as hell. Agent Reed, I had no further connection with her. And, uh, and you have no proof that I did. And furthermore, I am not permitting you access to any files without a warrant, Agent. Well. <laughs> not permitting you access to any files. Oh, except these ones over here on this desk? This? Well, do you need it for something? <laughs> I need to compare it to another letter. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> well, of course. Then. What the? Uh, you basically tell him you need it to incriminate him, and he just goes, "Yeah, okay." What happens if you lie? I don't know. I didn't bother actually they checking. Match. This was written on official Berkeley stationery. Ah, uh, that's not actually that. <laughs> It's the same stationery, only he could use it. Yeah, and also, couldn't you just tell by looking I at it that it was Berkeley stationery? I need more evidence to prove it's from him. Maybe asking the right... He keeps his desk neat. 
Inbox, some blank <laughs> office of the Dean stationery, phone, and a computer. Quick, check the letter. Does it say Office of the Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I get it, that it's a cheap door and it, you know, creaks as it opens. A place like this has central air? Didn't see that coming. Hmm. This vent is missing a screw. So lucky we picked up a screwdriver a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. That's it. As, as someone who drives probably an official government car, I would have thought that she would have a tool set in there. Yeah. Or could just, you know, go to the nearest hardware shop or supermarket. Yeah. Why would she stand on that? <laughs> like, uh, uh, look, okay, I'm not exactly the lightest of people, and I'm not exactly the shortest of people, but I still wouldn't stand on something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty rickety. But it's fine. It's wicked dusty in there. <laughs> the envelope's been sitting around for a while. Wicked dusty. Nothing written on it. But it feels like there's something shaking around in here. There's something in an envelope. Who'd have thought? I like how the uh, the dialogue there is kind of out of sync with the animation. So she says there's something shaking around in there before picking it up. Memory card. I like how she's doing all this with the door open. <laughs> <laughs> what you expect them to animate the memory card a door in opening and closing? That would just blow their budget right out. <laughs> They're financial records from Daniel Chapman's personal account. She can read SD cards How on her phone. How did Kelsey get these? Apparently. A lot of deposits Full are SD in cards. places other than Berkeley, yeah. though. There's also a list of companies owned by the Suzy K Lending Institution. And whatever a format these are the records, records are in, she's just able to the open Dean's it up. The Dean's taking so money from the same PDF? student loan company that turned PDF, Kelsey maybe, down um, for her HTML. loan. <laughs> no wonder he's got all these pricey collectibles. He's taking money on the side. That's what the letter is about. He knew what she was doing. He'd only send that if these were real. So, Kelsey threatened the Dean with these stolen financial records, and he sent her that letter to get her to back down. The idiot even used his own stationery. I think it's time Dean Chapman and I had a little talk. Yes, yeah, so and now we've got enough evidence to properly accuse him. So... <laughs> So he's not having sex with her. No. A... She got kicked what? out of school and then started trying Dean to Chapman? blackmail Hello, him. Hello, Agent Reed. Yeah, no, I, I was not at all paying attention to what she was summarizing there because it seemed <laughs> yeah, quite Yeah, it's time the Dean and I had a talk about this. What? Is she saying that to herself? Apparently. Like, in this one instance, you have to use the conversation thing one rather than time, the Chapman. use item Is on Is there anything thing. else you want to tell me? N no, I've told you everything. I really hate being lied to. First you lied about knowing Kelsey and that she worked here. Now you're lying about why she stopped working here, when, and why she dropped out altogether. You have no proof of any of that. These files prove that you've been taking gifts from the Suzy K Lending Institution for at least four years. Students get referred and ripped a new one on interest rates, and suddenly you're going on really nice family vacations and getting instruments signed by Yo-Yo Ma and the Beatles. That's, uh, there's no, those are falsified reports. But I highly as long doubt as that, and a little scrutiny like, from the is actually will prove one way or the operating other. legally. How are you feeling I'm not about sure there is actually bet, anything Daniel? illegal about him referring students there. Um, maybe if he's not advising that he's getting a kickback for it. I guess, but like, he could quite easily do Daniel that and avoid Chapman, the problem. The dean of students. Yeah, well, that's it. Although you know, oh, yeah, these guys. Like yeah, there, there is vague laws around it, but I'm pretty sure that if you're uh, getting kickbacks for referring people there, you have to state that. But um, yeah, it's it's quite it's not really. This letter was sent to Kelsey's personal post office box months ago. Whoever wrote it ripped off the top to conceal the letter. 
What has that got to do with me? Carlton <laughs> just getting a blank bit of off. paper that doesn't yeah. have... The bottom of a few letters <laughs> are left. Letters that match your office stationery. That's... All that proves is someone used a piece of Berkeley stationery to write this. Do you know how many officers carried that? You're right. But that's not all there is. The letterhead, these financial records, plus the fact that Kelsey had before? access to this office and yeah, your reports. Yeah, I think it expected me to show him the things in the no other order. Ah. And the fact that you lied about knowing her. So the dialogue just didn't I quite work I think I've got properly. a great story for the Boston Globe. How about you? What I don't do you think want? you can threaten to go the to the truth, league. you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, that was classic. Oh, that was that was worth the whole uh, thing. Just uh, did Kelsey Gardner work? Show in me rage. Office? Okay, yes, she did. And why was she fired? Uh, I can see a programmer sitting there one night. Just tap 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 tap. tap, tap, tap. Oh, I'm gonna do rage. She turned me in. She <laughs> threatened her right back. I thought it'd make her back off. You knew she was never gonna get a loan from them, didn't you? Who they give money to is out of my hands. I just refer people. That's all. And collect all the perks paid for in interest by your students. It's a, a consultant's fee. It's a conflict of interest the size of Russia, it. and it's illegal. Jackass. She is so angry about conflicts of interest. Ryan, thanks to your referrals, while you're taking trips to Dubai. What happened the last time you spoke? <laughs> That's her foot as well. She didn't tell me she was dropping out. And, uh, she said she would go to the police with a file. She was screaming, threatening, out of control, and I was honestly scared. I sent that letter to make her back off. I never heard from her, and then she went missing. How convenient for you. I told you, I had nothing to do with It's really not convenient for him at all. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. What else are you hiding? I, I got a package this morning. I, I think it's from Kelsey. It came by messenger, and inside it was this charm. Another silver charm. Consider yourself lucky to be alive, Chapman. The victims all were found with charms like this. I'm a target? Well, you need to help me. You need to protect me. Don't worry. You'll be very safe down at the station. What? I'm FBI, Chapman. Did you really think I wasn't <laughs> going to tell the police about this? Oh, you are Do the yourself police, a aren't favor you? and don't Technically leave town. Speaking. The boys in blue will I be in I think this is like out of her jurisdiction. Oh, She's no. got to refer it to the I local police. I kind of hate police. it when I need to yeah. save assholes like you. I'll give Kelsey this much. She had every reason to hate you. What? That's a bit extreme. She had a reason. Yeah. She seems to have failed on her own accord. Yeah. I, I, I don't see... Yeah. Right, you, you keep failing. Yeah, they're gonna go. Yeah, you can't keep coming here. Got the two extra charms. Now we can see the extra vision. There are a lot of visions in this section of the game. Real. That's a lot of blood. What happened? That's the alley where Longmore was killed. This can't just be a coincidence. I don't know what that means. Who's Longmore? Longmore was the hangman, the first body we found in the last oh. episode. Yeah, right, gotcha. That was so long ago. What yeah. I think they just wanted to reuse this scenery because they'd already gone to Arifan the effort of Avenue. making it. <laughs> Same street sign that was in my vision. That, that. Same alley where Longmore died in. They do seem to have put in a, a moderate this amount, a little well, a too big to be a coincidence. But what's the connection? Yeah. Aside from the the really janky animation, Arifan the Avenue. art in this Same game street is sign that was good. in my vision. Yeah. Uh, now we get this terribly obnoxious puzzle. Ooh, we get to work things out. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not really explained very well, so it takes me a minute to figure out what I'm even supposed to be trying to do.
One of the charms gave me a vision of this dumpster. Yep. Yeah. One of the charms gave me a vision of this dumpster. So yeah, obviously you're meant to be doing something with this. Do you use the magic touch thing or you do the hot spots? No. I'm trying to look at the posters on the walls there. One seems to be for some sort of ladies dancing. Uh, Scarlet Femmes, which is the band, isn't it? For... Scarlet Furies. Furies? I don't need to check out that crime scene again. A lot of people in that band by the looks of it. I think that one to the left of the door is like a, a witch or something? Yeah, I couldn't work out if it was dancing ladies or a witch. <laughs> Could be both. Here yeah, they're very similar. That gate was Dancing in the vision witches. I got nice. from one of the charms. Okay. This, this is just a slightly more elaborate way of a look at all the hot spots, isn't it? You're getting shitty flash games. <laughs> well, you have to do a bit more than just look at them. Yes, sorry, you have to psychotic them. But you can't do it while you're zoomed in, see? That was my mistake. Huh. Oh, you have to go through and select all three hotspots. It's not enough. I need to make it stronger so that I can use my power with it. Eventually we do. It took me a while, so I just skipped the wandering back and forth and trying to figure out what the fuck I was supposed to do. Okay, so in this vision you can see there are two charms on every spot. Yeah. So we have to figure out which charms are on which spot, and then actually sit them there in real life. Why? I don't know. It's, it's a puzzle. You have to solve it. Hey, what's that green thing up in the corner there? Well, that's probably just goop. Yeah. I'm thankful that you're doing this, and I don't have to sit there and work out these puzzles, because I would rapidly find better things to do with my time. Oh, like, there are definitely some puzzles in this game where I just went, nope, not doing that, where's a walkthrough? Someone sat down and wrote out a walkthrough for this? People write walkthroughs of, like, every adventure game. Eh, good point. And remember, I cut out a bunch of this. Like, this is just after I've figured out exactly what I need to do. It took much longer. <laughs> Alright, now we connect them all up. Yes. Just holding them in our hands doesn't work, apparently. See, I, I wouldn't mind if they go, you have to have all the charms on you. Yeah. And that's what we get. <laughs> All that so we could see that a body was here before. Possibly. Wasn't there some blood there earlier? Like in the vision? You can't move, Kelsey. You can't leave me. What's wrong with you? What are we even doing here? That's a good question, actually. Oh, put that knife down. You're freaking me out. You can't leave me. You love me. I don't. You are creeping. We're through. Get away. Let me go! You will love me. Ah. Uh, nope. Help. People tend to not appreciate that. Help. Won't. Plot twist. Huh. She managed to jump the fence while still being actually. She'd been stabbed in the stomach and the back of her leg sliced open. But yeah, she's still doing pretty well. Uh, I gotta say, those charms went quite far. Like, they flew all the way down the end. Kelsey. 
don't see. I need to hear your Plot voice. twist. Kelsey's been dead the whole Please. time, and Stone Joey from the post office is the real killer. Dun dun dun! Oh dear. And he's collecting body parts to fix her? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Joey Gothals, the post office clerk. I can't remember anyone. He's the wise so, monkey? <laughs> it isn't Kelsey. But it is all about her. Why the victims were all pushed, then stabbed. But why take the eyes, ears, and tongues from the victims? Oh, God. If the wise monkey is a man, who the hell is the woman who has Sully? What the hell is going on? It's Joey with a wig. <laughs> if it turns out to be Joey with a wig, I am going to drink a bowl of scotch. Gothals must have cleaned this place uh, it's fast not Joey. No it is, in in. fact, the so Riddler. The body? The the guy from the last, oh, presumably woman from the last game, who we fought in the church. Oh, yeah. Was the actual one I who killed to check out the first scene. victim. Because obviously that's a character who's going to be in all the games and looks like is going to solve all the crimes before we get to Kelsey them. Kelsey hadn't fallen off that thing. Handy. She might still be alive. Hadn't fallen off it. Yeah, maybe she hadn't gotten stabbed and her leg sliced and had someone chasing <laughs> after her with a knife, intent on killing her. Yeah, she might have lived. Yeah. Actually, in fact, I think it was all just down to that guy with the knife who wanted Arathon to kill her. Avenue. Oh, slow down Same there, street sign that was I in don't think we want to overthink Same this. alleyway Longmore died in. Are you just clicking around because you're now not sure what to do? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I should be collecting those charms again, because you wouldn't want to just leave them here. Did we park there? <laughs> I don't think that's her... I... Actually, I guess that is her car. Well, hey, that's not... That doesn't look like a government car. I would think a government car would have looked a bit different. But, um... Aren't they on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> I think she's in the middle of the road. Well, that's possible John, too. you son of a bitch. Red, you all right? <laughs> Whoever's got Sully, they're hurting him. I Isn't found John Sully? Who's John? Eye. What? John oh, is shit. the big guy who serious. sits at the desk at the far end of the uh, FBI it station. It gets weirder. Isn't that Sully? Kelsey Gardner no, is No, Sully dead. is the She's young been guy. She's she went who, missing months ago. Uh, Find a body? Who got kidnapped? No, I had a vision of it. He's trying to get in her pants. I you were a yes, one. I remember him now. Need evidence to back it up for McAdams. Wait, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Hang on. If she's dead, then who's the wise monkey? The real wise monkey is a man named Joey Gothals, a post office clerk that I met yesterday. Kelsey used to date him. <laughs> Trouble in paradise? <laughs> I'll say. She dumped him and I love the character snapped. reusing where no it's just like someone that though. she happened to meet twist. yesterday it turns out to be the, the murderer today. It happened in the same alleyway where the hangman was killed. <laughs> so to an alleyway we've been to, a guy you've just met, and the suspect is actually a victim. Next, you're gonna tell me dogs and cats are living together. Wait, I thought it was a woman who drugged Sully. It was. How do you explain that? I don't know it why. It was another who, woman. Someone is screwing with us, John, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> I need to find Sully before. Gotta get your money first out of that animation. Where are you looking next? Pro. Uh, okay, so future guess here. I'm gonna go with it's the uh, I've got woman Gothal's from the I'm gonna go check graveyard. It out. Keep me posted, Red. Well, judging by the fact that every character in this gets reused as Get much as possible, yeah, it's probably her. Find out who yeah. that woman was. What else is she Tell in the game Terrence for? To I, I anything wish there was a way to, to guess the ID. thing. You got, and you got like three guesses to skip to the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just at any time you can just open the menu I and go, I'd like to solve the whole puzzle <laughs> yes. now. Solve and win the game. <laughs> She does pick up the charms before she leaves. Ah, So they're still useless as evidence because she's been carrying them around in her pockets, but, you know, she's not just leaving them there. No, that increases the evidential value. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> That's how police people work. <laughs> Gotta carry them around with you so that you can keep looking at them for evidence purposes. You know, I, I think I honestly say about this game, I don't know if it's better when things happen or when they don't happen. 
I remember that episode where we had nothing happen and we're like, this is really, really, really annoying. But yeah. a whole bunch of things happen and it's still really, really annoying. Yeah, you get these sections where it's like all dialogue and you're like, oh god, why why am I having to listen to all this? Can't I just solve some puzzles for a change? And then you get a bunch of puzzles and you're like, this is just awful. When do we go back to the dialogue? Yeah. <laughs> It does help doing it this way because I don't actually have to listen to the dialogue that much. Uh, but but you end up reading it and going, oh, well, that was terrible. Why the hell did I do that? But yeah. thankfully, you've played this game and you're watching for a second time, so you at least know what's happening. Well, mostly. I mean, like, I do have difficulty paying attention to some of the dialogue and there's just... There's a lot of irrelevant stuff in there, and you can't tell which bits are going to be relevant later and which bits are just meaningless. Yeah. 